What's up? Hey guys, it's Snooze BGC back with a video for you today. It's been about a week. Sorry, it's been a crazy week. Been busy with school. Sue me about it. Sorry about the laundry in the back. Uh, we live in a complex where we have to share a washer and a dryer. And I don't dry half the stuff that I wear anyways because it'll shrink because I'm a fat kid. But today I wanted to talk about uh, Inteleon. So Inteleon, I think we can all agree, isn't the best design. I mean, there are some people that like it. That's that's okay. It's not my favorite. But what I do like about Inteleon is its stats. <laughs> I really enjoy uh, being quick and powerful and killing as much as I can before I get killed. And Inteleon does that really well. So if you look at its stats, like obviously its its HP isn't that great, its attack is okay, defense is bad, special attack so good, special defense bad, speed super good. Um, in this format with the new Pokedex, uh, a 120 speed is actually like blazing fast. And so Inteleon actually does something really good in this format, uh, being a glass cannon or a, a offensive sweeper, revenge killer, that sort of thing. Um, with even just if you're modest, um, you're outspeeding everything that's base 100. I think up to I even think you outspeed some base 105s. Yeah, they have to be uh, speed base 110, mod uh, timid or jolly to outspeed you. So you could easily run a modest Inteleon and outspeed you know 90% of the format right now. Especially with all the speed control options that you have with the new mechanics where speed is changed mid-turn. So if you use Tailwind, you'll be your Pokemon will have that applied that turn and you'll be able to be faster. Um, and so I think Modest Inteleon is actually really good. With the choice specs is where I think it really starts to shine. Yes, it's really strong, like it has really good special attack. But even that sometimes misses some KOs. But if you throw a choice specs on there, you're going to be picking up a lot of stuff. So like you pick up um, like um, if you do some calcs. So this is with choice specs modest uh, versus a careful, you know, very specially and HP invested Arcanine. And Arcanine is starting to pick up speed in the meta um, as being a justified uh, partner with Scott. And so a snipe shot, not even its most powerful move, guarantees a KO on this careful, like it's not just like a normal offensive Arcanine, like this is like a, a really specially defensive one. You pick it up. Things like Tyranitar, which are everywhere in the meta right now, are also, you can pick them up uh, with just a Hydro Pump. Um, obviously Dynamax is always a thing and if that's the case yeah you won't be picking it up I think that's almost anything nowadays but if it doesn't Dynamax you pick that up uh, Excadrill which is a popular partner you can pick that up with a snipe shot even if it Dynamaxes you can pick that up with a hydro pump uh, you you do massive damage to things like Dragapult and uh, I can take it out with Ice Beam. Uh, what else? What else in the meta can this thing not kill? Like, if it's not killing, it's doing almost over 50% with a Hydro Pump or with a Snipe Shot. If you're just going for spread damage, uh, Muddy Water is the best one to do. It has the chance to lower some, some accuracy, which can be helpful later on in the game. And it just is good general damage. It excels I think at just being a sweeper I did I did some digging as well and Inteleon has the second highest special attack stat of all the starters and it's one of the highest water types one like in the water type category of all time like the only one the only starter it has less attack is Primarina and Primarina has 126 but it's also, I think, the fastest starter I think we've ever seen. So it's so fast, so good at just getting out there, doing damage, weakening things, um, or KOing them for things in the back of your team to come out. So you can pair this with like a Whimsy Scott, which is really helpful against sand teams because then you can just uh, Tailwind, Muddy Water, or Hydro Pump, whatever you want on the field, 
Um, it's good with on rain teams, so like something like a Pelipper or a Ludicolo to help you out there and you set rain and then rain's doing even more uh, damage with your water type attacks, boosting them and you're picking up insane amount of things on that. But I think this is a pretty straightforward set, uh, just a quick you know, glass cannon, get out, start shooting. You can run modest or timid. I prefer modest because there isn't much that is outspeeding you. You know, like you're just so fast, bro. Like you, I just, if you want to run timid, go for it. But I'm just saying modest picks up some mad damage. And so this is probably my favorite set. And I actually used this Inteleon on my road to master rank team. Um, and it actually performed really well. And I obviously, I think I will, keep it and use it in the future almost indefinitely if you don't like to go super fast and gotta go fast you know you you can use a more um defensive set more a more support set and so this is one that i that i made when i was testing out what inteleon could do and with its speed being so high and its special attack being so high you can afford not to invest a lot into those uh, stats and still outspeed a good portion of the metagame and still do really good damage. So with, I made it so that and all, and also for people that aren't you know that are pretty new and they don't quite know how to EV train yet, I made I make most of my sets so that you can just do it with uh, vitamins. So the, obviously there's some things that you could change about this if you uh, want to EV train the old-fashioned way. But you can you can get this result with just the vitamins in the game that you can buy. So 120 HP, 200 defense, 68 special attack, and, six, and 120 special defense um, really makes it so that you can survive quite a few things. So if we look at here, so this is the Inteleon with the assault vest, calm nature. It survives a leaf storm from a Rotom C. It can take a um, Ludicolo, take a Ludicolo Giga Drain, and even if you max that out, it still only KOs 25%. And then you can hit it with an Icy Wind to slow it down. You can get Burns with Scald. You can lower attack with Breaking Swipe and lower accuracy with Muddy Water. Um, this thing can take a beating from, you know, like it can take some, some attacks from Tyranitar. So it can take a crunch, even take a max crunch from a Tyranitar, and you're still in the sand doing almost, yeah, you have a 50% chance to two shot, or you can just lower its attack, lower the speed, muddy water. Excadrill is just too strong, so you're not surviving a whole lot with Excadrill. Um, like you can, if, if it's life orb, it's gonna take you out. Oops. Not Lumberry. Life Orb. Like, if it's Life Orb, you're not living. I mean, but that's for most things against an Excadrill. Is if it hits you with Life Orb max moves, you're not living. But most are Focus Sash. So you can just throw... So they'll just throw a Focus Sash on. And you almost live... You live almost every single time. And then same thing. You can either Muddy Water, Scald it for some burns, lower its speed, lower its attack and just kind of do be annoying. I think that it has merit, I really do. Like if you're wanting something that's quick, that can still do damage and be really annoying and lower multiple stats, like uh, speed, attack, and accuracy, I think Inteleon could really be good and could really be a good supporter slash annoying Pokemon. But like, I th but besides that, Inteleon, it's very limited so you either you can either run fast and just try to beat the crap out of everything or you can do faster kind of faster <laughs> kind of fast and hit things kind of hard but be annoying and and be a support to to the team with you know with icy winds and breaking swipes and scalds um even if you wanted to you could just like throw a focus sash on here and if you weren't using focus sash on your team and then you can just kind of do the same thing where you can just make it make it fast make it hit hard but just be annoying just scald things icy wind things breaking swipe i mean 
once you're once you're timid, the only thing that's outspeeding you is like Dragapult. Like there's not much that has the same speed. So like, let's see, Inteleon. So you're only gonna get outsped by Boltun, which nobody uses, Noiburn, which nobody uses, Rabombi, which nobody uses, Weavile, not a problem. A legendary, legendary, Jolteon, nobody uses. Beriscuta is one you'd have to worry about. Dragapult's one you'll have to worry about. A Selgor is kind of seen. So th there's only three Pokemon in the metagame that you'd have to worry about. Really being faster than you and being able to KO you. The other things can't really do that besides maybe like Boltund and Beriscuta, Jolteon, Dragapult. Like, yeah. So you're going to get an attack off unless they're under Tailwind. Inteleon, it may be ugly. It may not be what we had hoped for our boy Sobble. But man, did they pull through on the stats and make it something that is incredibly strong or annoying. But anyways, guys, so I just wanted to, I don't think anybody's done anything on Inteleon, and I think that it has merit to be good. So I wanted to do a uh, moveset guide about it, of ideas to give you about maybe how you can use this lanky lizard on your teams. But hope you guys liked it. I hope you, if you did, give it a like. If you didn't like it and you think that I just suck, which I kind of do, you can give it a thumbs down, you know? Tell me tell me how bad I am because I'm the worst. So, hope you enjoy. I don't know how to end these videos. How the freak do you guys end videos? I don't know how to end videos. I always feel so awkward. I'm like, hey, baby, later, huh? Like, whatever. I'm just going to end videos. Just I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to end them. I'm going to start doing that.